Hi! Welcome to another exciting installment of Ian's video blog. This one promises, and I mean promises, to be happier than my previous ones. Because for one, I want to show you, I'll give you a little tour, tour of my apartment and uh, some places around Logan. So, here we go. Leaving my room now. Got the living room here, kitchen and dining room, posted with lots of food action and other things that young guys do in large groups or small groups. Coming up the stairs here. To our lovely parking lot. Kind of, lanes are kind of narrow, so when all the cars are in, it can be hard to back out. Uh, up the hill there is the Utah State campus. You can see the A in the distance. A for Aggies. Utah State Aggies. Good. Along this hill here is actually the last leg of my journey drive up here from Denver. US Route 89, aka 400 North. Goes up there. We're having a uh, having a bonfire up there tonight, so we'll have to get some provisions for the trip. So when you guys tag along. We like to hang out, hang out around here, talk, do a little bit of drinking, at least me, all that good stuff. So our first stop is going to be where I work. This is the entrance to our shop here at the Utah Festival Opera, the uh, Sante or Dan Santor. Whatever it's called, I just call it, I just call it the Dan. Anyway, that's where all the magic happens. Got a truck for loading stuff. Right now we're renting out uh, our Into the Woods set from a few years ago. Uh, yep. I've been doing lots of stuff here. I've worked on built, building some walls, a lot of painting, a um, lot, lot of hanging and rigging. So it's really fun. keeps me keeps me really busy. Uh, we start tech next week, and I hope and it's gonna looks like it's gonna be crazy and fun or or crazy fun. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see. No mail. Nope. No mail for me. So next, I'm going to show you the actual uh, theater. Uh, I'm going to show you the actual theater. Our shows are installed. In. This is the annex and tent of the Ellen Echoes Theater. All four of this season's uh, main stage shows Tosca, Faust, Kiss Me Kate, and My Fair Lady. We actually spent like pretty much our first couple days here uh, just putting this up. It was, a, it was a lot of work, of course, but we had a lot of people working on it, so it turned out well. Uh, you see these things here? Bricks. I help. I help paint those. It's good to see, you know, your own handiwork up there, and I can't wait to see it on stage. It's incredible. And now we're going to show you uh, the front of the Eccles. The 
Ellen Echoes Theater uh, opened in 1923 as one of actually a number of opera houses in Cache County. There were uh, about five or six in Logan alone. Uh, served mostly as a vaudeville house from 1923 up until the late 50s when it uh, turned into a movie house by just draping a screen in front of the stage. Uh, but then it kind of fell in, in, into disrepair. And so uh, our artistic director, Michael Ballum, uh, decided to start an opera company here for, for a new, new generation. So in 1993, the Utah Festival Opera opened. And this is our 20th season here. Uh, I'll show you the inside of the house uh, some other time, uh, maybe during Tech Week, but I just wanted to show you, just let's give you a brief little tour. Great Harvest Bread Company, where we all like to go on break and get a free slice of bread and a really uh, cheap soda, although I just go for the bread because it's awesome enough. <laughs> I like their uh, like white wheat blend, it's amazing. And their, um, their pumpkin chocolate chip is good too as is the uh, brownie bread. Just a little shout out for my friend, for my friend Tawny. So, hi Tawny, I found, I found an app. I haven't been to really many of the restaurants here yet, but this place I like, Beehive Group. They brew their own root beer, which is, I gotta admit, the best root beer I have ever had in my life. Good morning. I'm here in the in Green Canyon in beautiful Cache National Forest. Had a nice campfire last night. We we're all talking, just hanging out, having a good time. Uh, slept here in my car because I can't really afford a tent, and it was actually kind of nice. I had the rear windows cracked. So I still still get some air. Didn't sleep too well, but I'll have some other opportunities for camping, I'm sure. Gonna hang out a little while longer and uh, go back into Logan for uh, for church because it's Sunday morning. So I think that about wraps it up for this installment of Ian's video blog. So. See you all.